We're going to Minneapolis. This is more of a networking event, really. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying know. to push this channel. Yeah, push this channel. <laughs> Try to get ourselves out there. Try to not have that nine to five job anymore. <laughs> oh, you haven't been on the channel yet, have you? What channel? YouTube channel. My, what? <laughs> YouTube channel? What is it called? Joey TV? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Are you being serious right now? Bro, I'm trying to find out what this channel is. What is it? What is it? CNN? <sighs> BET? Let me just turn this off for a second. JETV? No, it's Jazari Qual. Dang. Where's the Qual come from? That's my middle name. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, Mr. Qual. Well, I guess since you don't know me, Daniel, it's nice to meet you. I love that you have a channel, Joe. So we are here. 15,000 hours later. <laughs> Finally made it. Get my face in this, man. You know it's dark out here. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is rocking an airport bag, but he just. Oh my goodness. They're very new to this. How you feeling? So I'm, I'm you got something to say? You keep looking through the camera. Yeah, checking in. What's up? We are. What's this place called? Cow. Drinking some coffee, eating some breakfast. People are real active here. You see them? Why do you stare so hard? Because I'm a people watcher. That's my hobby. Something about it's good. It's a good mixture. You gotta mix it up and on together. How's it tasting? I got this avocado toast with scrambled eggs. And what is this? So we out here. Go get me some tennis shoes. Come back and hoop. Tennis shoes to hoop for this? And have some blisters. I thought it was gonna be more than this. Considering that it started at what time? Nine. Nine. <laughs> I thought we were late. I guess we weren't that late. I do. Oh, he's a what's his name? Uh, he's a game creator. I just came across his. Uh, I think I saw that. I guess. Yeah, yeah. My heart is racing. We're about to pull up. We're pulling up to Mall of America. I've never been here before. Daniel, have you been here before? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I've okay. never been. Madi, never. never been. You know what it is like in there. What do you mean? But different levels. Let me be happy about the mall, Daniel. <laughs> no, I know. I know. <laughs> It's good. I hate, I hate the mall. Oh, but like I like the mall at the same time. I, I hate the mall, by the way. Joey, just over here, I'm just gonna shit on this party. Joey! What? What the f you wanna go to the mall for? Listen, yeah, this is too much going on right here. As long as we get in the parking garage and we don't have to walk outside, we good. Where should we go first? This place is busy. It's like what? Seven floors? Seven floors? You don't like shopping, do you? All right, we're about to walk around, see what they got going on here. There's so many different stores. A lot of outlet stores I haven't been to. Look at that food court. Yo, there's a whole roller coaster in here. What the f That's not good. <laughs> You're so unimpressed. Water. I don't think it's that crazy, but look at that one. Look, look, look. Look at that one, right? Yeah. They spins. And then there's one that shoots up and down. There's a Ferris wheel in there too. That's like the one we saw at Worlds of Fun. It's literally a miniature mystery park. A movie theater in here too. What? You're back. Yeah, I'm going back. We're getting old, Daniel. There's mini golf and an escape place. Rainforest Cafe. They have a Margaritaville. That's insane. I'm satisfied. I can go back to Lincoln right now. Huh? <laughs> I don't even gotta buy anything. I'm good. How the heck do you? We just went in a circle. No. Right there. We could have just went through there. 
We weren't here earlier. No, you didn't hear what I said. We just walked that way when we could have just went cut through. You wanted to fill the whole thing? I get it. Pretty good. How's yours? Spicy. So far, it's been a pretty cool day. We saw a real life proposal. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was good. Oh, yeah. And then we went to the uh, community event earlier. We met some pretty cool people. We met Luan Mayan, CEO of Janud Games. We met LJ from Trap Africa clothing brand. You guys saw Luol, uh, Luol Dang, right? Uh, I didn't I didn't see him. I saw some of my nephews that came into town. That was fun. Now we're going to the second part of this event and we feel like, well, I feel terrible. Daniel feel ter feels terrible too. Medid is fine, as always. Welcome to South can give them the confidence to start to speak up for themselves at those tables. It's really funny because probation officers call us uh, paid friends, um, and, and that's how they try to disregard our voice at the tables, but paid friends have a lot of information because we gain the trust of those people that you're, that you're calling criminals, the ones that are only represented by your graphs and by your numbers. So that's why I think it is so important that moving forward that we really understand how to take the stories of the people that we are working with and interact with them and consider them when we're developing those policies. Thank you. Thank you.
tell you guys why I'm gonna need more energy than that. That's good. Because we're not gonna to get together again till next year, right? provide mentoring, taking these kids on field trips, giving them honestly a positive environment to be around. And lastly, we have a cultural dance group because they want to know their culture, they want to know where they come from. And we have both guys and girls, but today you're going to see just a little bit of our girls dancing. But I do have a message for you guys that um, even though they're all American born, their South Sudanese blood was I really encourage you guys to please, let's give these youth a voice. Let's give them opportunities. Let's pave a path for them to succeed. And because if we don't do it as a community, no one else will. And with that being said, put your hands together for Youth for Greater Good. And the evil, and the evil, uh, these go there. <laughs> and we are gone. <sighs> yeah. I will always love you. Hey, you ugly. <laughs> this is a pretty cool, cool hotel. Besides the fact that they're talking about $19 for breakfast per person. And they have me so tilted. I asked the lady at the front desk, I was like, is breakfast really $19 a person? She's like, it really is. 